All right, guys, today we're going to be showing you or I'm going to be showing you how to increase the hertz or refresh rate of your monitor. Um, so basically, if you have a 120 hertz, a 75 hertz, a 144 hertz, 165 hertz, 240 hertz, whatever it is, you got to change the refresh rate or the hertz of your uh, display to actually like it starts at, at 60 by default. So you got to be sure to increase it. Uh, if your monitor is, you know, above 60 hertz. So I'll, I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, if you just search up display settings, uh, it'll bring you here to your display. And I have three monitors. This is, uh, I'm recording on the second one here. Um, and my other two are right here. Um, but this doesn't really matter um, at the moment. But if you just scroll down, um, basically you're going to click on advanced display under the related settings. And once you click on that, you'll be able to choose your display at the top that you want to change. So say you have two monitors uh, and one is 60 hertz, but the other one is 120 hertz. Uh, you want to make sure you're you know, on the proper display. Um, so once you have the correct display selected, there's a drop down here if you have more than one monitor. Um, you want to make sure you're on the, the right one. Uh, I'm on display one right now. And as you can see under choose a refresh rate, uh, it has a drop down and you can see all the capable refresh rates that it has to choose from. And obviously you want to choose the highest one, most likely, unless you have a very specific scenario where you don't want to choose the highest one. But I recommend choosing the highest that it will go. And um, so 240, for example, is what I'm going to choose here. Um, by default, when you set up a new monitor, it'll be at 60 hertz. So you've got to make sure you change it or else you won't get the full capability of your monitor. So it's very important that you, you know, go through each display, choose the highest one, go through each display, choose the highest one. Now for display three, my monitor actually goes up to 165 hertz, but as you can see, it only goes up to 144 here. So it's actually a 165 hertz monitor though, so why is that? Um, the reason for this is because I'm using an HDMI cable instead of my other um, cable that is more updated. Uh, I don't even know what that cable is called, but basically the HDMI cable is less uh, advanced uh, for the the Hertz when it comes to you know getting the full use out of your monitor. You need that other cable that comes with the monitor if it's a one <clears throat> excuse me if it's a 165 or a 240 Hertz monitor, you'll get a different kind of cable that's more updated, and you want to make sure to use that one when connecting your monitor to your computer. And uh, when you do that, if I did that, I would have the 165 hertz option. The reason why I didn't do that is because my cable is actually broken right now. Uh, it, it doesn't work properly. So I'm using an HDMI instead, and I'm getting 144 hertz instead of the 165. There's not that big of a difference there, so I'm not too worried about it. But that's just a little information for you guys there. I, I want to show you guys one other thing here if we go back to the display settings. Uh, this is very customizable if you have more than one monitor. Um, say I wanted to like basically say one of my monitors was much higher than my other ones. Ideally, that's not ideal, right? But if it was, uh, for example, my first monitor is actually higher up compared to my other two monitors. So if I wanted to adjust that, we could just do that. And that way, when I go and move my mouse from monitor to monitor, uh, it's more fluid, it looks a lot better, it just flows a lot better. So you can do that with all three monitors, you can customize it the way you want. Very customizable, uh, it's really, really cool. I'm going to cancel that because I don't actually have that problem. But uh, it's very customizable. Definitely mess around with this to get the perfect settings for your displays. But that's just a bonus tip. Uh, the main tip was just to go to your related settings, go to advanced display, and that's where you're going to be able to increase the refresh rate for your monitor and get the most out of your playing experience with gaming and just in general, uh, higher hertz, higher refresh rate. It just flows a lot better when you are working on a, uh, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, on a PC or a computer. So, yeah, uh, hopefully this, hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. I just forgot how to speak here for a moment, so I'm going to end the video here. Uh, with that being said, guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and peace.